What's up, guys? Welcome to podcast number six. We're number relaxing. Number six. Yeah. That was seven, yeah, but that would be right. I'm telling you. Introduce yourself to DVX stuff. DVX users, DVX my name users. is Dusty Sorg, and we, me and Mary Elise Hayden, are extremely excited and enormously grateful to be a part of Eloquent Graffiti. We feel much pleasure. A film part of the new Lost yes. Fest. Lost Fest. Why can't it just be lost? Is it because of the show? Lost Fest? It's like rights. You're gonna get lost in Lost Fest. And uh, you see, where's my cell phone? Did you lose it? Where is it? You know everything. Oh, that totally goes with the theme. They're gonna do an intro, then we get the title cards. Eloquent Graffiti, a film by Sabi, and then it'll cut to me. Hey, this is Zach. Welcome back. Uh, today we had a great opportunity to sit down for the first time with actors uh, Mary Elise Hayden and Dusty Sorg. Um, we had an opportunity to talk about their character history. Uh, they got to choose their character names. Uh, we talked about wardrobe choices. Uh, let's take a look. I chose the word Hank, which is also a name. And uh, it can also be used as Henry. You picked Henry, you douchebag. I know, but Hank is like the same as Henry. You're gonna be recorded in a couple minutes for your name, Nicolette. Oh. Oops, I gave it away. Uh, but anyways, Henry, also known as AKA Hank, is um, I believe my character was uh, was grown up in a uh, suburban Midwestern family, and his mother was a big Hank Williams fan, and. She always wanted me to be a, uh, a shepherd. <laughs> I'm totally just bullshitting right now. Okay. But honestly, well, that's, uh, that's fine then. Let's move uh, on to what name did you pick? I picked Nicolette. And that came up just driving on your way here, right? Yeah, I was thinking about character names on the way here, not knowing that I was going to be given the opportunity to pick my own character name and not even knowing that it would be discussed today. But I, I saw it. You know, on like the side of like a Mexican cake shop or something like Nicolex, yeah. like alterations or something. And I thought that was cool, but I guess I actually tend to uh, like names uh, that feature a little androgyny. Mm-hmm. You know, I like I like the idea. It's very diva esque. Yeah, like being called Nicolette, but a girl being called Nick. Yeah. And what about a DJ name? Do you have a DJ name that would? Oh, for my character? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, DJ Nico. <laughs> that's so funny. The the last film I shot, my character's name was Nico. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it, it will not be that. Um, Henry. My DJ's name. Maybe I'll be DJ Knickknack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. To be continued. Next podcast, okay. DJ name. <laughs> right, we'll save that for podcast seven. Okay, I'm sitting here with Jamie Cobb. She will be the editor on Eloquent Graffiti. Um, Jamie, I have a quick question for you. The um, sit-down that we had with Mary Lise and Dusty, uh, there were some things that kind of resonated with you in particular. Uh, one was something that Mary Lise uh, had said. She was telling us a story about a friend of hers who just uh, had a bad relationship and just randomly decided to go to Korea to teach for a year. And the line she said was, it may be cowardly, but it fucking works. And the, something about the way that she said it, my editor brain kicked in, and I was like, Droop, putting that in my selects bin. And, uh, and I shared that with, with you and uh, Dan after the meeting, and we've kind of been building stuff around the idea of just someone who believes running away from their problems is the right thing to do. And beyond that, it's, it's actually, it looks like it's turning into something a specific line of dialogue that that um, will have uh, great significance in this story, um, but uh, you know we'll save that for later. Okay, I'm here with Dan Carmody now, and uh, Dan, I have a question for you. Uh, today, meeting with the actors, um, coming into the meeting, some of the story development ideas were a little vague, a little cloudy. Can you uh, tell me how? Um, Listening to what Dusty and Mary Lee's had to say helped flesh out the story, helped uh, help the story develop and emerge a little bit. Seeing them for the first time, I can see like, oh, okay, Dusty's a lot like how a lot 
like the character that we wrote, and Mary Elise is a lot like the character we wrote, but it's like the gray areas are answered now. It's like I can see how they would act in certain situations, and then started developing like, okay, now if these two people are here, this is what might really play out, and this is maybe the direction the story might go in. So it's almost like reshaping parts of the story that were very, you know, like you said, cloudy, and we weren't really sure of now are kind of clear. And they've added a lot to the story too, I think, just talking to them. And I think the thing that will uh, uh, take this to the next level is we'll be doing some rehearsals with them, which I think will uh, flesh out these scenes and these characters even more. So we are looking forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, keep checking out the podcast. If you haven't seen the early one, earlier ones, check them out. Uh, otherwise, I will see you on the boards. Take it easy. Bye.